Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Let's get on with uh, the night action now and uh, take a look at my Padres. Well, here's a problem. Okay, uh, so today, Mindy, oh, yeah, Padres, well, oh, look, the Padres are mashing, actually. They might have the hottest offense, even more than the Red. You know, they've scored more than they've scored double digit runs the last two nights. They've been mashing it for about a week right now. Soto's hot. Even Hassan Kim is on a roll right now. Uh, the Padres offense is rolling, but what they've done here is they've called up uh, this pitcher, Waldron. For right. the start, now he is a knuckleball. He's not a you know complete you know Wakefield knuckleballer, Charlie Huff knuckleballer type of guy. He does mix in the knuckleball, but no non-position player has thrown a knuckleball. Meaning no pitcher in baseball. Yeah, there's been some position players come in and fool around with a knuckleball in the last two years, but no starting pitcher or relief pitcher that is not a position player has thrown a knuckleball in a major league game since 2021. Really? Aldrin comes in with uh, an ERA at El Paso of seven and a record of one and six. So unless the Padres have some secret with this guy, uh, I don't know what they're doing. Um, with, you know, in this walk has been scratched again. So they've had to do a little bit of, of emergency work. Maybe they figure, uh, they can call this guy up uh, against the Nationals because they're so bad, and he can go in there and throw some junk for an inning or two and then come in with a bullpen game. Uh, so who would the last one be, like Wakefield? No, no, right? no. Um, maybe so, I, I don't, I'm not going to look up the name to hold up the show, but it's not yeah. a picture that uh, everyone would totally be familiar okay. with. I, I can't even remember his name. But uh, I'll t I, I will actually look as you uh, introduce this. Uh, go ahead. Uh, well, Matt Waldron went to my high school, so that's fun. Nice. I mean, like he didn't. I mean, like there was a Matt Waldron in like oh. in the nineties, right? That was there. Oh, okay. I you were... <laughs> Just a total coincidence. Uh, the same name there. Uh, but yeah, I um, I kind of feel like Josiah Gray. He's been decent. I just, uh, you know, I've been. <laughs> I feel like wrong on the Padres for about seven days. So I like the Padres here on the run line. Uh, that's where I'm going to go. I feel like the bats are just on fire right now. And Gray, he's susceptible for giving up some walks and you can't put guys on and get guys like uh, Machado up to the plate, stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, take the Padres here on the run line. All right. Well, your, your classmate. No, I, <laughs> wrong Matt Waldron. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Mickey yeah, Janice. that was like 25 years younger. Yep. Uh, Mickey Janice was on the Orioles. I believe he was the last player oh. in uh, 2020. Where's our mailer of Baltimore? He should have been all over that one. Yeah. I think that's who they're <laughs> saying is uh, the last one to officially uh, do it. Like I said, uh, some position players have come in, and you know how goofy these guys are when they get in there throwing EFIS pitches and laughing at each other and then a guy hits a home run and uh gets his feelings hurt so uh yeah so uh it is you know looks like a little bit of desperation here for the padres uh but maybe they're just trusting that their offense can mash here um against the nationals they did last night obviously again big time offense the padre for all their struggles you know, they are one of the best teams in the league for run differential, despite being under 500. Crazy. So it shows the potential. Everyone knows that the team has been a huge disappointment, especially if they watch our show since I'm the Padres correspondent. Correct. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to try the under in this one uh, with this game. Uh, maybe there's something to it. I'll trust the Padres here. Josiah Gray – you know, his numbers haven't been as good of late, but still has a decent ERA this season. Uh, kind of flirting with danger here with the Padres mashing it. But uh, now with the total at 
nine. I'm going to go ahead and take the under. I got beat on the under last night. I show eight and a half over 20 there, but uh, actually I'm showing most of the uh, – I'll, I'll leave it at that and I'll try to beat eight and a half, but I think we're looking at mostly nine under now across the board. So let's see what the chat says here with this uh, with this game. <laughs> All right. Um Hello to Burley today. Bionic says take the run line. Ziggy's going to go over. Fernando will go under. Jack's taking the pads. Fernando says take the Nationals. Blake says he'll take that uh, Joe and Phil Necro uh, replacement. <laughs> Anybody remember when Phil Necro? It's unfair because this is, I think, one of the big memories of Phil Necro, but uh, you know, he's a knuckleballer and a little bit of a junk baller. There was a little bit of generation, the Gaylord period, and the umpire goes out to uh, investigate what Phil Necro has got a movement on the ball, and he reaches into his pocket, and he pulls out a nail file, and he tosses it away like nobody's like nobody saw it. <laughs> uh, Jack, uh, let's see here. Padres have been in. Hello, welcome, Jack. Nice to have you. Michael Thompson says, take the Padres on the run line. Jack says he's been laying two and a half runs. Arnold says maybe he's on the Padres here. First five under for a politician. And uh, Jimmy Crack Corn, nice to have you. Welcome. Says over eight to three is the final tonight. Oh, nice. All right, put that 11 in. Final score. Burley says Padres run line. Thomas may go under with me. And Hondo says Padres first five and the money line. I'll take the under. Mindy's on the run line. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our all cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TonyT at checkout to save at 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.